In today's video, I want to show you how to install this Debian environment in your Android device. We are going to use Thermux and Thermux X11 applications, and you don't need root or any type of modification to your Android system. In this video in particular, I will show you how to install Cinnamon Desktop, but you can find other videos in the channel with Genome or XFCE4, which is a bit lighter. Remember to check the description of this video because I will leave the links to all the repositories we are going to use. This is the first one, this is the Thermux official repository, and we are going to download Thermux from this site. Here you can go to the releases section, go down until you see the last release that is not a beta, and download the universal APK. We are going to repeat the process with Thermux X11, this is the graphical environment or the application we are going to use to see the graphical desktop. So again, let's go to the releases section, and let's download and install the universal apk once you have downloaded both apks install them and open thermos application this is the first one that we install so just open and wait until the message disappear and you can see that the letters looks a bit queer but don't worry we will change it later now run this command here type enter and here go to your location with the rows in the keyboard space to select and hit enter to accept. We have selected the mirrors from our location so we can install all the packages we want a bit faster. So run the command you saw on the screen to update and upgrade all the default packages. Here type Y and hit enter and now we can move to my repository. Here you will find a lot of information with links to all my videos about different environments, different distros, so check the one that you prefer and watch all the videos you want. We are going to install the Hardnet font. This font will change this weird looks in the Thermos application, so we need to copy and paste this command, accept everything and now execute the tool. The tool is get nf, you can select all the different NERF fonts available, in my case I will select the number 26, the hack font, so type 26, hit enter, wait until it is downloaded, and now we have to select the one that we want. Also you can select if you want it italic, bold, or in my case I will just select regular. You can see that now if we open Thermux again, we can see that the Thermux, the terminal looks way better. After this, we can start by installing the different distros. We are going to the Ubuntu section, but just to copy the first installation steps command. So copy all these commands and paste it in Thermos. Hit enter and wait until all the packages are installed. Also, if you find any message, you have to type Y and hit enter to continue. Now we are going to move to the Debian section because we are going to install Debian and not Ubuntu. But you can install if you want Ubuntu and try this process because probably it should work. In this section we can see the different steps. So we are going to install this tool, pruth distro. This is the tool in Thermos that is in charge of mount different distributions like Debian, Ubuntu or Arch Linux. In this case we are going to install Debian with the command just in right now root distro install Debian and for this you don't need root. If you are root and you want to mount this with a ch root environment you also can and you have several videos in the channel so don't forget to take a look at them. But for this case we are going to use just this more simple distribution. Here you can see that now we are inside Debian because we see root at localhost and this means that we are in the Debian environment so we are, we are going to update and upgrade all the default packages and we are going to install some packages by default that we are going to need to add for example a new user or to modify the sudo permissions but first don't forget to install dbus x11 because we are going to need it for the graphical environment so now we are going to add a new user in my case i will call it droid master but you can change this with your username and i will show you later how to modify the started script so you can launch the environment with your user but for now, I will just use Droid Master. We are going to type the password and set the, the user. And we have to give that user sudo permission. So we can run commands like sudo and install packages without needing root. So here we are going to modify the etc sudo file. And in this line, we are going to add the one that you have in the repository. 
remember that if you create a new user different from drawing master you have to change the username here so control o and enter and control x and enter to save and exit and now we are going to check that everything is fine so with this command we are going to move to the new user there is master and with the command who am i and sudo who am i you can check that we have droid master at first and if we run with sudo we have root after this we are going to be able to install all the packages we want so we are going to install the graphical environment you have several ones the one that works better is xfc4 but for this video i want to show you cinnamon so just type this command sudo apt install cinnamon and wait a few minutes until all the process finishes if you see this screen we have to select the keyboard layout so just hit enter to deploy all the options and select the one that you want in my case i will just select the first one now we have seen that everything is installed so we are going to exit the peer root environment and now we are in termux native and not in peer root distro so here we are going to download the script that we will use to launch the graphical environment as we install cinnamon we have to download the start script for cinnamon desktop with this command but first we need to install wget it's very simple to install you just need to run this command and execute again the command we just executed before if you check with ls we can see this is the file so we need to give it execution permissions with this command chmod plus x and if you want you can edit this file with the command nano go to the last line and here you have the droid master user so if you have created a different user you have to change this with your username this applies to all my desktops and all my script files so check them and modify as you need they are open source and you can take a look at them execute the start script and we are in termus x11 now if you open the preferences in my case i like to disable this keyboard that you see and also i like to put termus x11 in full screen so you just need to enable this toggle after this you can open again termus x11 and you will see this environment now you're gonna start by using your graphical environment this cinnamon desktop as you wish but i want to show you how to customize this so it looks like the one that you saw at the beginning of the video so we are going to open a terminal and here you can run the commands as we did in Teremux. but we remember that we are inside the period environment so let's start firefox for example i will show you later how to install chromium 2 and how to run it because it's a bit special but for now we are going to use firefox so install it and open i have to remind you that this environment is a bit slower than other ones like xc4 or termus native but if your device is power powerful enough you can just try it and check by yourself we are going to navigate to this page where we will find several themes and icon themes to install in our environment but this works also for different desktop environments so check uh, all the different things available i like to order them by rating and lately i have been using the orchis theme so i will just download this you have the download button in the top part you can select different options depending on the color that you prefer in my case i like dark purple themes so i just download this one wait until the new file is downloaded and open the file explorer here we are going to open a terminal and we are going to uncompress the file so to uncompress the file we are going to type the command you see start with these modifiers and the name of the file now we can delete the original file because we don't need the compressed file anymore so just delete it and first we have to create a couple of folders the themes folder and the icons folder in the home directory now we can move all the different folders that we have just uncompressed to the dot themes folder we have just created that way cinnamon desktop will detect automatically the themes so now we're going to install also the icon themes again i like to order them by rating you can select the one that you prefer but i like to use for example the papyrus icon theme but if you want to try another one the tela icon theme is also one of my favorites so click on the one you like remember that you have the download button in the top part again you can select several options in my case i will select the purple one 
wait a few seconds until you can click on the download button and we are going to repeat the process. First, we need to uncompress the file with the same command, delete the original file because we don't need it anymore and we are going to move the folders to the .icons folder because now we are installing an icons theme instead of an application theme. So if you want to select the themes that you have installed, we have to open the themes application. You can open the bottom menu, look for themes and click on the first application you see. Here you can select the application theme we have just installed, the icons themes and everything. So I recommend you checking different themes and just trying and select the one that you prefer the most. So you can see that now we have applied the theme and everything is in dark mode. The icons has changed. Also, if we take a look to the calendar, now everything is applied. So now we need to change the wallpaper. I found these wallpapers in Reddit. I will link the wallpapers in the description of the video and I like them a lot. You have a lighter version or a darker version. So to change them, we just need to download the image from the Reddit post, go here down until we see the picture folder and select the wallpaper. So you can see that we have the configuration almost done. Now I want to show you how to install different applications. For example, if you install NeoFetch, you can show the information of the system we have. Like here we have a Debian environment. But if we want to install, for example, the Chromium browser, you can install it with this command. The thing with Chromium is you cannot run it from this menu. We have to run it from the terminal with the no sandbox tag. But you can try also Firefox and just run normally. If you find this message, just write a password and accept. I want to show you how to install also Visual Studio Code because it's similar to Chromium. We cannot run it from the menu, we have to run it from the terminal. So to install it, first we need to download the ARM packages, so we have to go to the official page, to the download section, and in the bottom part, take a look to where it says ARM64, and download these dev packages. You have to enable the download of the file from the web browser, and once it is downloaded, we are going to install it with the command you are seeing right now. We have to install it with the command you see because it is not available in the Debian repositories. So just type yes, hit enter and wait until the process finishes. You can see that we have the icon in the menu, but to run it, we have to run the command code, no sandbox like Chromium. And now we have a full Visual Studio code working on our Android environment. You can log into your GitHub account, download repositories, clone them, update everything you need and do a commit or whatever so you can use this environment to program so i hope you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and soon in the channel you will see some svc like the orange pi file so if you want to see some projects with that devices just leave a comment